The name of our company is Zelise. We're known as the Ultra Company. We actually got started in 2015 uh, by expert leadership all the way. I'm telling you right now, Stephen and Angie Thompson, you will not find uh, better leaders when it comes to understanding this business. They've made millions of dollars in this industry. In the health and wellness, uh, he's formulated several products uh, not he as a formulator, but he and teams of scientists. Uh, so he's been very familiar in this world, but not only in the field, right, where he's doing exactly like what we're doing right now. He'll go to meeting rooms. He'll go to living rooms. He still gets down in the field and does that. Um, and then he also has worked uh, corporate before as the lease. He actually was VP of sales. He opened 40 different countries, 40 different distribution channels. Uh, around the world, built teams of over 250,000 people. And so I love to follow someone that's been there and done that. And I have just grabbed a hold of this man's coattails and said, Stephen, teach me everything you know. I am a sponge. I want to learn. I want to grow. And I want to help people win. But we're here because there's actual science. There's science behind the endocannabinoid system. Uh, anything with a spine. So as we're talking about equine, right? They are powerful, majestic. I'm filtering that into this call tonight for a very specific reason, because yes, we all have this whole endocannabinoid system. We know that it affects every single system of our bodies. We found out that it's fueled by cannabinoids, okay? We know that we produce our own cannabinoids, that they're endogenous. We just don't produce enough. And why? Well, we used to be able to grow hemp back in the 30s, okay? They, uh, our cattle, our chicken would graze on it. They took that away, uh, but President Trump actually just signed the bill December 20th, 2018, making it an agricultural commodity again. The farm bill passed. Very exciting. Watch what happens to the American farmer. It is going to revolutionize the way we see farmers farm. And so this whole endocannabinoid system is responsible for what's called homeostasis. That's just a fancy term for balance. All right. And we know that we're deficient in these cannabinoids, right? So we discovered that there's an actual solution found in the full spectrum hemp plant. And there's so much more than just CBD. So you'll often hear the term CBD, cannabidiol. We like to joke and say CBD stands for cashing big dollars because it's actually true. But CBD is actually cannabidiol. While cannabidiol is really good and it has its place, right, in our body, what what you're missing, if you're not getting the entire plant, is over 400 live compounds. So inside of our full spectrum, full ultra cell hemp oil, and we also have a topical, what's happened is that it's loaded with cannabinoids and terpenes and flavonoids, vitamins, minerals, omegas, and proteins, a complete profile, if you will, of what the body is craving, what it needs. This plant, I truly believe God placed this plant on the earth. Obviously, he knew what he was doing. It's loaded with all kinds of nutrients. Of course, giving it the whole entourage effect, meaning people will start taking this for one thing and then realize, wait a minute, uh, I notice that my mood is lifted or I'm not as achy. I don't have as many aches and pains. Uh, my stress levels went way down. Things like that. And, and so why is that? Again, because your body is getting back in balance. Same thing that's happen, happening with animals. And what I love tonight, in, in, in light of the whole endocannabinoid system tied in with equine, right? We've got some great stories. I'm going to pause and I'm going to bring uh, a gentleman that I was just talking to just briefly. His name is Cletus. Uh, Bridget and Cletus, if you don't mind, come to the line and share with us what your business is. Uh, how many horses that you actually have taking the ultra cell and maybe give us a testimony on one of the horses and what you've seen so far. Hi, Danny. My husband's a cutting horse trainer, has been with his whole life. Um, and we probably have three quarters of the horses in our barn on it right now, um, plus a couple outside horses. But I'm going to let him tell you about what it's doing with the horses. I have one horse that uh, he's got some changes. And, um, you know, he, he just, we had him on some other two different drugs and he was doing fine, but it helped his whole overall health. Now I only have him on the oil. And um, 
he's off everything else. Um, and his overall health, his whole mind and attitude is just really good. He's like a younger horse and he's just doing really great for his amateur rider. Oh, I love that. He's 14 years old. Tell me more about, so how many horses do you have uh, that you're training right now? And do you have, do you have them there on your property? Give us a little bit more of a background there. Yes. I, I usually ride about, I just turned 60 this year. So I'm I downsize a little bit, but I ride about a dozen, 15 most of the time. So how many horses actually are on the actual ultra cell? Uh, can you share with us how many do you give on a pretty regular basis? So are you giving them daily doses? Yes. Yeah, we have about, I think we have six in the barn right now and three, three that are outside horses that the customers just put it on, you know, sure. put their horses on it also. So you have nine horses total right now that are on ultrasound. And, and I know people sometimes ask, well, how much, how much should I give? And because animals metabolize different than we do, uh, most, when I'm talking to just everyday people, I'll just tell them, you're, let your body do the talking. Let it, you know, some people, most average people take one full dropper per day. That's the average. Now, some people have better results if they take a half a dropper, right? But some people get better if they take two full droppers. But most people get the, the most, what I see on average, uh, the, the most benefit they're getting is an average of one full dropper per day. When you're giving a, and administrating this to animals, you want to give one drop per 10 pounds. We do have a chart uh, that we can send people with that information on it. But one drop per 10 pounds. Well, you're talking about, you know, 800,000 pound horse, right? So typically, is that a full dropper? Is that how you're giving it to them? That's correct. And how do you do that? Do you put it on food? Do you put it on your hand and let them lick it off? Do you get it on their gums? I'm just curious. Well, you know, we just use a little syringe and that and draw that amount up and then we just squirt it in the corner of their mouth and but they'll actually come across the stall when they see you coming because they like it. Ah, so they come get it. They come get it. Oh, that's awesome. They know it's good for them. And that's, that is fantastic. Well, thank you, uh, Cletus and Bridget. I want to keep going a little bit. And then I want to bring another person on the line here shortly. Uh, again, so this sublingual, it comes in three different uh, flavors. One is the raw. Raw has absolutely no flavor. The berry and the lemon, everything is uh, all natural. So, you know, we sweeten with stevia extract but the raw does not have anything. It literally is just raw CBD hemp. And we're gonna tell you what sets us apart uh, as a company here in just a moment. Now we are US Hemp Authority certified. Uh, that's a big deal because what that is, is it's a stamp of approval. It's a nationwide recognition that just says we are who we say we are. All right, and so love that. We have the technology though is where we cracked the code. This is why people and animals are getting the results that they're getting so quickly because we have the oil is water soluble. Think about what our bodies are mostly made up of. What are our bodies mostly made up of? Water. And water and oil don't mix, right? So the very first part of our technology that we use makes our oil water soluble. So it's giving that rapid onset of action and then it's giving that unprecedented absorption in our bodies. Here's the second part of our technology. It's long lasting. The bioavailability, uh, we took an actual clinical study back in February of 2018. We took 20 participants. We took blood serum samples every hour on the hour. What we found is that the first 45 minutes, all subjects reached up to 94% peak performance. When, when they were they were reaching peak performance and then quickly shot up to that 90, 94%. Here's what's the amazing thing. Uh, better than we expected, better than anticipated, every hour on the hour, they all stayed between 80 and 94%. Now there was a couple that dipped down during this study and, a, and the, the chief medical officer at the time said, uh-oh, right? He's watching this. He's like, what does that mean? But guess what? The blood actually recognized, or I'm sorry, the, the body recognized it as good, sent it right back to the bloodstream, jumped right back in, and stayed consistent. So we are seeing five out of 10 people feel it their very first dose, or eight out of 10 people feel it within their first week. 
Now our technology is exclusive to Zelise. It's patent pending. We will never have it patented. Coca-Cola is still patent pending. We are very protective of the technology. Just so you know, before we switch gears here in just a moment, this is what the entire company has been built on and it's called the pay it forward mission. We actually donate for every single bottle sold. We actually donate, match it for multivitamins for kids. We also do that for prenatals for expecting mothers. We know that it's reducing infant mortality rate. So we're very, very uh, excited about that. But then if that wasn't exciting enough, we also donate to UltraCell to veterans. We have all kinds of things tied into our Patriot program. Very, very honored uh, to have the Pay It Forward program. But before I jump into the business side, I want to bring someone else to the line. Uh, her name is Jackie. She actually makes her home down in Florida. And this woman, uh, I, I met her several months ago, liked her, became instant friends. Uh, but Jackie, it's good to have you on the call tonight. I know Sandy uh, brought your name up at the beginning when we were all chiming into this call and she said you have a phenomenal testimony. If you don't mind, come to the line and just share with us what you've been able to experience with some of your horses. Tell us a little bit about you, your background uh, with horses and what you've been able to experience. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danny. Um, I have, I've had horses most of my life and just recently in the last few years um, got into the cutting. And several years back, I guess about four years, me and Sandy had went down to Texas to the NCHA maturity sale and I bought a mare. Well, she was um, more, had a lot more stallion tendencies. She's just very aggressive, very hard to get along with. So that was just always a problem with farriers, veterinarians, anybody, you know, coming around her. She just always wanted to bite and kick. So forward, fast forward a few years. Um, we went down South Florida working cows. She was fine that weekend. Came home. The very next weekend, Sandy had come down to do a clinic. And I got her in the arena and started warming her up and she immediately just started breathing extremely heavy. Uh, couldn't do anything more than a walk. She just couldn't catch her air. So we put her up, tried it again the next day, same thing. As soon as she got out of a walk, she just went to breathing, couldn't even trot or do anything. So that went on. I just kind of would get her out every other day, lunge her, same thing. Every time, as soon as she would start trotting, she just couldn't catch her air. So that's, you know, I had talked to Sandy and we were back and forth and she had just heard about the oil. So we thought, well, we'll give it a shot. Really didn't think it would do anything. But got it, started giving her a dose and a half twice a day. Now this was by this time, she had already been having this breathing problem for right at four months. So after three weeks of being on a dose and a half twice a day, she started running around in the pasture on her own. So I went, got her out, started lunging her, no, just breathing normally, completely fine. So I just, for the next few days, just started increasing her lunging. And from that day forward, she's never had the breathing problem again. Wow. Oh, uh, I love it. Jackie, thank you for sharing yeah. that. How phenomenal. Yeah, so exciting. So and when you say um, a dose, will you explain to the callers, what do you mean by that? You take a syringe, right? Because it comes in a bottle, looks like an eyedropper yeah. almost. You squeeze yes. up a full milliliter. Is that what it is? It's the full dropper. Just pull it up. Yeah, I did, a, I did the full dose, the full one milliliter and a half. Okay. Day. So that was actually th three milliliters just because at that time we really wasn't sure about the dosing on horses. This was last year. Um, and I thought because there was actually a problem, maybe a little more would have been better. You know, it, one, one milliliter may have been fine, but that's just what I gave her at that time. And I mean, not only that, but I mean, she's just a totally different horse. She's mellowed out. If I go around other people, they're like, golly, I can't believe how nice Cricket is. I mean, wow. she to bite everybody and bite other horses. And now she's just has mellowed out. 
That is phenomenal. So then you, so when you say that, you put it in, in just like they did, you, you squirt it out. Okay. Yeah. And does she also look forward to it? Is it something that she fights you on or does she come right up and let you give it to her? She doesn't really fight me on it, but no, she doesn't come up to it. <laughs> you know, it's funny as I have another person up with a goat on it and I, I just laugh at that goat. As soon as she sees her owner uh, with that bottle, that goat comes running for it. Mm -hmm. So it, interesting, but thank you so much for sharing your heart and your story with us. We truly value every single person uh, that really just wants to contribute back and share what's happening in your world. I know we have Tara Winter on the phone as well. Uh, Tara, just I actually just got acquainted with her. She is here in Decatur, Illinois. And uh, Tara, do we still have you on the line? Would you mind coming and sharing what's happened since you started giving it to your horse? Sure, yes. We had, um, as, it, as many horse owners know, you spend a lot of time and energy into training horses, getting ready for competitions. And um, our horse about, well, it was been about four days before a quarter horse, big quarter horse um, state competition came up lame in the back end. And so I had heard about Zillis and it, it helping horses. And so we went ahead and put him on that. The next day following, he was no longer lame. Um, and then we have kept him on that. Uh, his, he always kind of would, you know, pin his ears, be a little bit unhappy, you know, as he's riding along the rail, we do Western riding and um, hunt seat. And um, his ears were forward. He placed in the top six today in all of his classes, which those, again, those of you who know about quarter horse, that is absolutely amazing for a horse that came up lame four days ago. And so um, he's just a different horse all together. And um, it absolutely is the, the CBD oil that, it, that caused that. Yes, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna close on that. Thank you so much everyone that took the time out to get on this call.